I'm delighted to be joined by Kerry Bryan. How are you, Kerry? I'm good, I'm baby, thanks. Good, so you're enjoying life here in Ireland on your, <laughs> your yeah. trip away for a few months? Yeah, yeah, so far so good anyway. Um, you have had two runners here um, since you've been here. Uh, Baltimore Bucko ran in Limerick over Christmas, but he ran in Jonathan Shepard's name. Um, but the other day then you had French Light ran and that was in your first name. So tell people a little bit about yourself. Um, Jonathan Shepard needs no introduction, a uh, <laughs> Hall of Fame trainer. I think he's won 24 million in prize money between yeah. flat and steeplechase, which is quite incredible. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Yeah, so I've been lucky enough to learn from Jonathan the last 11 years I've worked for him. I've been his assistant for, I think the last five or six years, um, started with just a few horses under my care there and ended up being the whole operation towards the end there. Um, really grateful for all of my time underneath him and all the owners that I've got such a great relationship with has brought me here today. So. Very good. Uh, it takes a huge amount of balls and commit. Well, obviously, commitment, commitment then is your is is for you. But a lot of balls and a lot of money um, to be put up from the owners um, to go ahead with this and let these horses come over here to Ireland. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it was Mr. Swire who owns Winston C. It was his idea to start with to bring Winston over, and when he kind of had the idea, I explored it with the other owners and. With the way COVID is right now in America and not knowing what our spring season was gonna look like, um, we kind of decided this at the end of the summer, early fall. Um, you know, there are three really supportive owners, not just to me, but to the sport in general. They've given a lot to the sport. And, you know, this is, this is good for the sport on all angles, I think. And, you know, they were all willing to take a bit of a leap and here we are. I think it is brilliant. Um, we've seen some Irish horses, uh, Nicky Henderson, uh, Brain Power, Gordon Elliott has travelled over with good success yeah. in America as well. But it's mainly flat horses that travel all around the world. Right. Aidan O'Brien, the other big trainers, right. travel to America for the Breeders' Cup and so. But um, for American trainer to come to Ireland and take on the Irish horses, people probably here would think, oh, sure, you're having a chance. But um, you, you have some nice horses here. and. A lot of these horses have come from here in Ireland and a few of them from the point to point scene. Yeah, you know, I don't think people thought it was going to go that well, to be honest, just from what I've heard. But yeah, look, we I picked out six that won. They're all from here. They're all European. Um, they were bred here. Some of them ran in point to point. So, you know, I don't think when you actually sit back and look at the type of horses and, and everything, I don't think it's that far fetched, really. I mean, you just mm. hear american horses coming over but they're not really american horses we we were hoping to take a stab with one american horse with iranistan um he unfortunately settled uh had a setback before he we were going to ship him so he ended up needing a little bit of time so it would have been interesting to see what a proper just american bred horse and whatnot would have done but yeah these are all irish or english horses so i don't really see why it was that you know Definitely. And um, you say about the ship and what's the process of bringing them? Uh, yeah. You came two weeks previous yeah, to so the horses? Yeah, I came, I came two weeks before the horses got here um, for myself. I just came on a regular flight and did the two-week quarantine that was necessary at the time. The shipping, I mean, Mersant and George Mullins shipping, they did everything, but it was, it was a long process. They, you know, they had to get passports to go back over and it's kind of, you know, come to find you don't really do this that often, bring them over and then bring them back. You know, I'm just used to shipping them over when we buy them. So it was a long process, a lot of paperwork, a lot of stuff, but um, they they were great. The shipping company is getting everything sorted out. And then obviously you have a lot of dealings then with um, IHRB and HRI, HRI um, in terms of getting your license and being able to run these horses here then. Yeah. So I'm sure they've been very helpful in, throughout this. They've been amazing. I mean, I couldn't do one, especially now switching the license back over. They were very, um, you know, helpful with the whole thing. And, you know, just really, you know, they are, they're all helpful at every part. I mean, there's so many different, mm. um, you know, sections of your racing in general and everybody's been really really helpful as far as getting this all sorted out and very welcoming too you know anything that i need they're all an email away or a call away and they've been very good to me and james doyle you're here based not in his yard but up towards the other end of his field where he has other stables you're based here you're able to use his gallops you ride out the six horses yourself so 
Um, that's keeping you busy and looking forward to what you're running. We mentioned French Light. He ran in Clamel the other day. He ran very well, finished second. Probably was traveling very well. Probably just the ground probably maybe caught him out for not being able to quicken up. And you have a plan for him that he might go to the Dublin Racing Festival? Yeah, the ground was horrible. Like when I walked it, I knew we were in trouble. Uh, the way that he ran, we were very, very happy with him. Um, the ground was heavy and tacky and they weren't really getting through it. And the way he traveled down the hill, you know, he'd probably prefer two miles anyway. So yeah, the odds are kind of stacked against him really. Um, so to run like that, very, very happy with him. And he's very good, you know, coming out of the race. And yeah, look, we're here to take a shot and we're not here for a long time. So he is um, entered in the novice at Dublin Racing Festival. And I'd say we'll take a shot there with him, yeah. Good, and the better ground than Leopardstown as well would be ideal. Better will be, you know, that's what he needs. You know, his speed couldn't come out on better ground, so. We'll, we'll take a chance and see. He won a point to point for James Doyle in Bolt. Uh, he won two races then in the US as well. So he's been fairly consistent and I'm sure he has plenty more winning ahead of him. Uh, Winston C, who runs on Saturday, uh, declared this morning yeah. then. Uh, John O'Neill, who is amateur for number one rider for James Doyle for his yeah. point to pointers. He's going to ride him. He, he runs in a handicap. He's been given a mark of 140 by the Irish and the English handicap for working together. His last mark in England for Harry Fry was a mark of 142. So you happy enough at 140? Yeah, you know, I think he is a smart horse and we always want him to be lower, but I think I think that's fair. He's a good horse and, you know, we'll run him on Saturday and, you know, that will be his run. I just want to get a run into him before he goes to the racing festival as well. Um, but Look, he's, he's a good horse, so I think that's fair. We've had a look him on the gallop this morning. He looks in great shape, but you know going into that, he'll need to run at the weekend. Exactly. And again, he's a horse who's going to uh, love a, a faster pace on quicker ground, and, and no doubt he'll get that in Leopardstown. Exactly. He's going two and a half on what's going to be heavy ground at Navin. So in a stiff track. Yeah, in a stiff track. It's not going to be ideal, but look, we can't run him any closer. You know, this is where mm. we need to run to get the run into him before he goes to Leopardstown. And, um, you know, we're just looking for a nice size solid run you know don't take too much out of him but you know we're look if he's there at the second last we're gonna try to win it but Absolutely. um yeah look it's it's a run for him and you know looking forward we definitely are you know there's nine entered in the irish champion hurdle there so that that's the goal take a know. chance yeah definitely Good. take a chance uh, another horse that i like here uh, the mean queen she was a very impressive winner under john o'neill for james doyle in loch namore um, where she bolted up that day and she's ran since uh, she ran in a bumper uh, she was second uh, the mare that was third behind her was third in Punchestown on Monday but the horse that won has won two horse, two races since for Michael Winter so uh, that's good form and you must be looking forward to her then yeah very much so and you know Mr. Moorhead who owns her as well as he had bought Zoom Zoom Zoe out of the point to point um, who's been very successful, very successful for his successful. in America um, has three horses here that we brought over he has his own breeding program back home and he's always looking for a good mare um, loves to kind of mix in this Irish breeding now out, you know back home horses that don't run on Lasix and everything it's a good mm -hmm. thought that he has going forward for his breeding program so he loves a good mare and he bought Zoe and he was happy with the Mean Queen so we'll run her one more time hopefully here in a bumper when the ground gets a little bit better and then I'll take her back to America with me when I go back and then a quick mention then you have a horse here just beside you Clondalk Camp Clondalk Camp I He's... bought him off Nick Goff yeah and he uh, raced once he and raced won once. once and won once very impressively in America he came over off a bit of a layoff, so we're still getting him fit, but hopefully in the next couple of weeks he'll make a start. Okay, yep. and there's a scorpion horse then. There's Scorpion's a scorpion. Revenge that you bought from James bought from and James Ellen Doyle. for um, Irv and Diane Naylor, and um, he is the same as the Mean Queen. We're going to run him in a bumper here before he goes back to America, so we'll wait for the ground to get a little bit better here, but hopefully get a run into him before he comes back. Well, good. Listen, Kerry, very best to look uh, with, with your time here in Ireland. But more so for when you go home for your training career. Thank you have you. very big boots to fill in Jonathan <laughs> Shepherd, but no doubt you'll give it a right good go. And um, yeah, best of luck and fair play to you. Thanks very much, Stevie.